fifth problem five pencils and seven pens together cost rupees 50 whereas seven pencils five pens together cost rupees 46 find the cost of one pencil and that of one pen so we don't know the cost of pencil and pen so in solution let us write let the cost of each pencil b rupees x and the cost of each pen b rupees y and according to the problem so what is given so it is given that five pencils so 5x plus 7y is equals to rupees 50 so we can write 50 next 7x next equation is 7x plus 5y is equals to 46 let us find out the values for x and y so the equation is 5x plus 7y is equals to 50 so let us write x y x comma y if we are taking 3 in place of x 5 3 is a 15 15 goes to that side so it gives us 35 so 5 3 is a 15 7 y is equals to 50 5 3 is a 15 so 15 goes to that side 7 y is equals to 50 minus 15 so 10 minus 5 is 5 4 minus 1 is 3 so 7y, 7 y 7 ones are 7 fives are y is equals to 5 y is equals to 5 so 3 comma 5 next we can take like uh, in place of x or y we can take 10 why because if we take uh, in place of y 0 in 5 table 50 comes so we, let us take 0 so 5x plus 7 zeros are 0 is equals to 50 so 5x is equals to 50 x is equals to 5 ones are 5 tens are so x value is 10 we need to be careful while while drawing the graph so 10 is the somewhat big value on x axis let us draw the box for next so 7x plus 5y is equals to 46 let us write x y x comma y so if we are taking 3 in place of x we get 7 3 is a 21 plus 5y is equals to 46 this goes to that side 5y is equals to 46 minus 21 so 5y is equals to 6 minus 1 is 5 4 minus 2 is 2 so 5 ones are 5 5 is a y is equals to 5 so y is 5 so 3 comma 5 next for next value so we can take any number like uh, y because uh, here 46 is there so in ta 7 table do we get uh, 6 yes we get 6 when we are taking 8 so let us take 7 8 so 7 8 is 56 so 5 y is equals to 46 5y is equals to 46 this 56 goes to that side so 56 so 5y is equals to 6 minus 6 is 0 and 5 minus 4 is 1 so minus 1 so 5 ones are 5 twos are y is equals to minus 2 minus 2 so 8 comma minus 2 let us draw the graph yes i have drawn the graph but in the x axis i have taken this a i have taken the value i have taken the this area is more why because we are having the highest value as 10 that's why i have taken positive side somewhat more we can write the scale as 1 centimeter is equals to 1 unit why because we have increased this area that's why we can take 1 centimeter is equals to 1 unit let us plot the points so first one is 3 comma 5 so on x axis 3 on y is 5 next 10 comma 0 so it is here 10 comma 0 
let us join these two points so the equation is 5x plus 7y is equals to 50 next next values are 3 comma 5 it is already there and 8 comma minus 2 so 8 comma minus 2 8 minus 2 is here let us join this so 7x plus 5y is equals to 46 let us write the scale so what is a scale we have taken on x axis on x axis 1 centimeter is equals to 1 unit on y axis 1 centimeter is equals to 1 unit 